trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm glad to be back after a little break, like everything was happening at once. It's been just a crazy couple months, but I'm back <laughs> to do some more product reviews for you guys. Yay, yay. Anyhow, I'm happy to be back and let's get started. Today I'm coming on to review some Honey's Handmade products and this is the first time I'm doing a full Honey's Handmade video, so I'm pretty excited about that. I have mentioned her products before in like hauls and like seasonal stashes and stuff but I'm actually doing a full little review and demo for you guys so yeah. Let me tell you what I used. So I used three products from her line. I shampooed with the Blue Rose Beauty Coco Rose Creamy Shampoo first. Then I used her Peach Ginger and Key and More Protein um, Hair Mask. Then I used this Peach Ginger and Key and More Protein Strengthening Hair Lotion. So partly because it was the only leave-in I got and partly because it was kind of a match to this so I wanted to keep it in the family because um, I had gotten other DCs as well. And I topped it off with this Coffee Cocoa Curling Custom. So let's get into the details. First off, I just love the scent. It just smells like yummy peach with a little twang, like the ginger twang, which was perfect for me. Mm. I think it's like my favorite scent so far in any product. I just like, putting on it was like smelling away so this um the mask and the leave-in both smell like that so that was great so her products on the whole tend to be a little more light and more natural um in terms of you know it just feels less processed than some other things just based on the ingredients and so on i kind of expect moisture but maybe not necessarily as much slip that more sophisticated ingredients tend to give you more of which is fine for me because i detangle beforehand like i Detangle with conditioner, then start my wash day in terms of shampoo, deep condition, style. So the slip was okay. Like, you know, my hands went through fine, but at the same time, if I had to detangle, I think it would have been an issue. Like, it wouldn't have been like slipping by. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So I would rate the slip of this mask as fair or okay, but not super fabulous. In terms of scent, the scent was great. In terms of moisture, mm, like, my hair didn't get juicy which is like the ultimate hydration, but it felt super soft, like softer than some of the things that make my hair juicy. So, like, how you feel about that? I don't know. I prefer juicy just because my hair just needs to get that moisture. It's like ultra low porosity and I need the penetration. But softness just means that, you know, your, cut, your cuticles are soothed and maybe some nice emollients on the strand and everything. So I like softness too, because my strand, most of my hair, like the top part is naturally coarse and rough. So I like, Juicy softness, but I'll take juicy or softness, but I guess I prefer juicy, but this one gave me softness. So, I definitely enjoyed using it. It left my hair super soft and silky and moisturized, if not completely juicy. But I don't think I'll repurchase this. I think I preferred the deep conditioner I used from her last time. I think it was like a cook or something. I'll link the review of the last time I used one of her DCs for you guys. But as you saw, it penetrated well in my hand and in my hair and everything. So I wouldn't call it a sitter or anything. So it's supposed to be a replenishing hair mask, but for me it was more moisturizing, I guess, than necessarily strengthening. So I think it's moisturizing but just gives you a little dash of protein as well. Which I think I kind of like. Like it's protein without the hassle of like being an official protein treatment I guess. So I kind of like that. Like I mentioned the ingredients are really simple and really nice. So yay for ingredients, yay for simple, readable ingredients I guess. Yeah like for me the peach extract is a big deal here because it's a humectant. Of course ginger is also great, you get the feeling it'll be great for your hair and scalp as well. And then of course there's the quinoa and the babasu and stuff, it's a pretty simple mix but it works really well. Overall I do think it's like better than average great deep conditioner. I just use really 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 good deep conditioner so yeah. When I went to the conditioner my hair was feeling nice and soft and silky and stuff like yeah. It could even be the silkiest softest it's ever felt, I don't know but it was feeling really good. And then I move on to this strengthening lotion. So I actually would repurchase this, I really like this. So it feels like it has more slip than the mask but it was also moisturizing and also smelled great and you know did define my curls well and everything. It says strengthening hair lotion but it didn't really have any effect like protein, protein and anything like that. It feels like I can use it as a normal leave-in. My hair likes yogurt, I've been telling you guys that. The peach and the honey quarter are humectants and the yogurt I think probably helps make my hair feel extra soft and silky. I guess you have to say it's a little bit, you know, on the light side. It smells amazing and really moisturizes my hair. So my hair feels soft and moisturized now, so I like it. And then I guess we come to the custard. 
So when I saw this cuss and I saw it was like a light cream like that, my heart pretty much sank because I was like, oh my god, I cannot have a fail right now. Please, I can't have a fail right now. But it did actually add some definition and holes. So I was like pleasantly surprised putting it on. Okay, yeah, this is doing something. It's just taking care of me a little bit. Then when I saw how my hair looked after, I was panicked again because my hair looked super big. So my curls look really plump, but it looked really big. So I wasn't sure where it was gonna go with that. But it took me somewhere I like. Like I have great volume. <laughs> But I still have nice definition as well. So, yeah, and I like the shape. <laughs> I like the shape. I love me some shrinkers, so I'm loving the shape. Like, my hair feels light and everything, but it feels love. It feels held, you know, and safe and moisturized, like a moisturizing layer on it. I don't know if I already purchased this, but I want to say this is one of my favorite no gel wash and goes. So, why I don't know if I already purchased this is just because I have so many creams in my life. But this definitely did the thing, like it adds definition, it adds moisture, it adds a soft hold. I'm not probably not going to get a week out of this, but I'm definitely going to have a couple of days out of it. So, <laughs> I'm happy and I was pleasantly surprised. So let me show you the texture. So it was interesting about this. It almost seems slightly grainy. I'm not sure what was up with that, but it melted in well and it didn't bother me too much. So, but it seemed like there was slight grains in it. But it goes in really nicely. Everything goes in nicely and everything is like moisturizing and light. Which is how my hair turned out, moisturized and light. So I got this because it did have a little bit of xanthan gum which I knew would provide just a ton of hold. So I was hopeful. But to be honest, I was hoping it would be like a custom, like kinky curly. So when I saw that it was like a cream, I was like, eh. But I'm gonna do it anyway. And I do like big wash and goes anyway. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it and see what happens and it worked out. So I always have to do one little disclaimer when I'm talking about Honey's Handmade. I love her products, her products are great. Customer service, don't expect any. She doesn't really respond to emails, at least not mine. So disclaimer, disclaimer, if you're buying, you kinda have to buy at your own risk and hope everything works out, I guess. Or make sure you use like PayPal or use like I don't know, like credit cards that you can easily dispute and stuff because customer service isn't much of a thing with her. But I do like her products. Smell great, moisturizing, and does the thing. So disclaimer, disclaimer, keep it 100 with you guys on that. But yeah, she probably will be seeing me again this Black Friday because I am enjoying her stuff. I love her DCs, I love this leave-in, and this custard also pleasantly surprised me. So that's it. I do have a lot more honeys handmade from my Black Friday haul, so look out for more coming up. Not sure if I'm going to do a full video again just because everything else I have is pretty much DCs and stuff. So look out for them more, I guess, in my seasonal stashes coming up. But yeah, I'm looking forward to using them. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Trinity Girl, <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.